Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beat Our Plan as we return to our Crimson Chateau estate within the darkest dungeon. Where I am in a dungeon that is um, getting the better of me when it comes to my humor. Uh, Oh, uh, we got the scout from uh, this, apparently. I was like, why in the heck? There's a secret room here. We don't have a green key, however. Okay, so... Our scout went really far. But unfortunately, we all had a four battles, so we're out of scouts. So we need to find a green key. And there's a secret room as well. And we can definitely liberate somebody, but I kind of want to push forward because we haven't seen a key over here. And here's also a door with a key, but unfortunately, as we already know from the last episode, we couldn't remember. Oh, please, don't tell me that I have to go probably in one of these side hallways because this is going to... Yeah, this is where she is. This is where you need to get the key to get in here. And then you need to go in there in order to... Oh, uh, that's probably it, isn't it? Because I can't pass here because there's an obstacle over here. And we don't have a shuffle. Of course we can still pass it and we can handle some stress <coughs> normally. Um, I kind of feel like I want to go back for the secret room though. Yeah, but it wouldn't be pointless. We have so little food already. So we're going to go continue down this road. Because I can't... If you would only... Click. If uh, We can't get past this area. So it's kind of pointless to go down there. Do we have... No. I have an buff, by the way, because I burned one of the torches that we found. And I gave uh, everybody the holy water. But yeah, that only runs for a few um, rounds. So that's already gone anyways. Let's see what this fight is at. Now, look. One mosquito and one manservant is doable. I wish I could hit him, but I can't. Let's hit her. Yeah, we start with quite a bit of stress in this fight for normally our type of party. Oh, I didn't change the party order around. That's kind of bad. Hmm. A devastating blow. It's after all these two that we want to get, mainly, so... She can't do, do... She can't do anything from the first rank. So that's really, really, really a horrible move. Alright, she's dead. A faint hope blossoms. That's really unfortunate, but that's just gonna be the way it is. And he just gave me the strongest abilities on Valak, so that's alright. Unfortunately, also, our Crusader got stunned, so he couldn't move forward, so he couldn't do... Uh, make sure that our vessel is actually functioning, functional again. Um, yeah, because we have to move back, because he can't do much from this location. Um... I noticed that the Houndmaster was wounded as well, but the Houndmaster can still go, and now I apply a bleed, and thus I can take care of him. Alright, stress relief. The usual the order of business. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. And now again, somebody marked? They're not going for it. Just that one fight that we had in the last episode. Things were crazy. Like ridiculous. Uh, by what happened there. But I don't want to think about it too much. Otherwise I will go again in a mental state that is just... Well, not healthy. It just doesn't make me think of this game as a good game. 
But that was just really, really bad RNG, I think. That worked against me. And I just need to be a better man and just say, Oh, well, that can happen at times. And now, now I'm just going to live through all this and have a good time. That stun is annoying, though, because we do want to stress you. That's quite a bit of damage for a non-crit first. I tried to prevent that by doing that hit, hopefully that he would go for um, actually the first again, but no, he uh, does a bombing run. Should we end game is the question. We have a little bit more stress, but yes, let's end game. Advantage. Give them no quarter. Again, the focus on the Vestal. Well, I should not say again, because normally it's the Houndmaster, but... Bad cry havoc. A time to yeah, we're still actually uh, reeling back a little bit from the original fight that we had before here, trying to overcome the, the issues that uh, developed in that fight, which is the stress, the heals, and what have you know. And now we have bleeds that we can't take care of at the end of this fight because of, what do you know, bombing run. And this is the turn that we need to kill that thing. And I will kill it before it does another bombing run on us. There we go. Um, we're not going to f fight get to the end boss. I don't believe in it anymore. Um, let's do it like this. You are worth more. For the next fight. Let's go. I'm hoping... Move forward, please. Ah! Carelessness that simply has to do with me wanting to move place. forward. I'm, I'm getting... Um, I'm just a little... Uh, how do you say that? Uh, I'm A distracted because my cat here is walking around me and really wants some food. Which is way too early for his normal food time, but I'm at home because I am also not feeling too well. Uh, which I haven't been feeling also in the last episode, so perhaps that is also part of why I'm not doing uh, too well when it comes to the stress uh, issues, but... And I, for some reason, have it incredible hot where it's not, like, hot at all, so I'm just a little feverish. And... Anyways, um, I I am just I can't think of the word here. Um, I want to get forward. I want to get to the good stuff again. I want to get and so I move faster and faster and faster just to get towards that stuff, just to have a little bit of fun again. But unfortunately, doing so actually puts me in jeopardy. And I shouldn't do that. But I'm just I'm just. I have no more patience, as I said before. My patience is currently very, very thin. Oh, uh, uh, do we need to kill him? No, so it's always better to cry havoc. The 
that'll solve his issues. Alright, nice that we got that. You brave blood. I'm not gonna switch out anything else just right now. We're not going to give you anything. Please move on. Thank you. That random stop, I just... That's also something that's bothering me. Which I probably just do not take any offense at. Um, I won't get a scout here most likely, so there's no use. But I also don't have a shovel. I guess I was simply stressing on this fight. Look at the map just going again wild, going forth and back, forth and back, because it just doesn't know... If only treasure could staunch the flow of what? otherworldly corruption. Oh, now they both need the blood. Okay, I'm out of here. I, I just don't. No, I'm gonna walk on a little bit more because they're just craving. They're not wasting just yet. No, there is no blood in there. Why would you go for that when there is no blood in there? Like, it's a pointless exercise. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. No! Are you insane? You know there's no blood in there. Why would you try and do that? What the f... What? Okay, so they've even worsened how bad craving is. Well, let's just uh, teach this game a lesson that it is not okay the way you're handling me right now. This is not how we are. We're married. Uh, I should not do that. I should not hit him. I should hit him. Sorry. Before I get into the same mistake. Bad, that's actually the wrong order, but we'll just have to take it. Because now they can apparently interact with every curio there is to find blood, even if you know it never will give any blood. You can only open this with a torch and then give stress relief, otherwise, it will just spawn enemies. So, uh, uh, that made no sense. And there is that famous bombing run that cost more or less our last fight to go horribly, horribly, horribly. Okay, we have three people with the crave of blood. I, I can't do anything about that. Our blood economy is poor. I had hoped to actually get to the counters, just wave, uh, just get way further into this dungeon order to save some weeks because we are we do have a limited amount of weeks but now it will be a very long time before we go into this type of dungeon again which I welcome by the way because we don't have an invitation and it's gonna take a while before we find invitation because currently the um, investation is low when we went in here probably switch to medium after this That's not the target I wanted to hit. Should not have done him, should have done Freud probably. Stress wise it doesn't really matter much, but it's more like he doesn't need to heal. Okay, you are dead. That's an open one. That's pretty good then. And you are not dead. Please don't add stress. Yeah, and you normally like to bleed, so I don't know why you're complaining. We have too much stress on this team right now. It's interesting, by the way, that they did craving with blood dripping out of them. If you crave so much, then drink that blood. Hmm? I, I almost thought that was going to be a misclick again. I shouldn't probably play when I'm ill, but... 
this is the time when I am able to record because I, I'm not at work. Which is kind of logical because I'm ill. But yeah. That was a really low hit, but... That's unfortunately very str a little stress relief. There we go. Well, the stress that we... Look, now this, this makes it already a lot more... Promises success. We now have the Vestals combo. Plus 33% stress healed while camping. Not really good. 25% healing skills. Alright. I like to see this. We'll take that over that. Too bad as he's in the back row again. Nice crit. Crits are always good. Well, actually, that's not true. We have seen actually crits being very bad for us because that was, like, not the moment to crit. Okay, that should take care of him at least. This is going to be a skewing yeah, repartee because he starts in the back, so he's just lucky. That was a quadruple bleed. Don't you dare and say... I shouldn't have said a thing. My mistake should not have talked. Um... I need somebody with a stun. Good. The flagellant can definitely handle that. You are dead. Recovery phase. Compassion is Stress a dealt with. Pitch of battle. And we took 12 blood into this dungeon. On purpose. 12 blood. Oh, that is the thing that adds stress. The first? So his first is much stronger than anybody else's first. For some reason. Because it adds, like, a gigantic stress debuff. Uh, stress gain debuff. That's kind of weird but to say it that way. But, yeah. That is what I mean. You. Take a bunch of damage. Goodbye. Because we don't have stress, so I'm just going to lower the amount of attacks that come in. Uh, this is bad enough for Freud, and I am going to single heal her. When you see a 10, I always feel a little bit like, man, I should have just mm, healed the group, because six, four times six is a lot better than what you just dished out. Uh, I can't stun you, I remember. We can wait one round. It's probably better heal-wise. That's okay. Froy, you're not healing so well anymore. Uh, I hope you can... We're gonna get a complaint. Yep, we're gonna get a complaint. Uh, uh I, I, I wanted to stress you, Valak, but all right, let's just end it. Well, that just makes the dungeon a little longer. Absolutely, buddy, we don't even have blood anymore. It's not like absolutely not. We just don't even have it anymore. We have no blood. We have no way of uh, giving you anything. All right, first fight. Definitely the mosquitoes. And I can't hit them with Valak. And Valak misses his first strike in battle again. Stun. Hit. Uh, 
stress relief. How quickly the tide turns. Seriously? Okay, you, uh, well, because the mosquitoes are really quick, so I fear that one of them will go before Valley goes. Of course, she won't take it. But I can't uh, have him stay that low and just think, oh, it will be fine. Well, Freud will heal this way then. There we go. In the fever pitch of battle. The problem is now we have three vampires, so every time somebody gets hit, there is a chance that somebody will say something about wanting blood. Ugh. Vampires, what are they good for, right? Bunch of baloney anyways. Folklore, nothing more. Man, I'm stressing out again in this team. Ooh. Nice crit. Um, that's actually kind of nice, though I kind of wanted you to kill this guy. The Houndmaster can probably take care of that. Yep. Goodbye. And this is not- this is like the least troublesome team in my opinion. Of uh, leftovers in this uh, dungeon. That you can get. The wounds of war can be healed. But never hidden. You are below half of it, so I'm not going to heal you. There we go. Valak nearly at fully full health. Ooh, the blight. Is getting a little annoying here. Now that has quite a good of use. Um, let's set it so up that we can pull the trigger whenever we want to. That is unfortunately the wrong order because I really wanted Valak to take over that blight. I really think it's weird that when he says my life for the Crimson Fluid, it's not like the vampires go, yeah, our life for the Crimson Fluid. No, they go like, <gasps> stress, he wants his life for the Crimson Fluid. I don't understand. Yes, you do. That was, by the way, again, a bad crit because we didn't want him to crit because we wanted to heal first because you are dead. Yes, behold the power of the blood. When you have no stress, that's not really that good. Not that impressive. Be wary. Hmm. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. One blood can mean we can go on for longer. We do also need food to go on. Uh, this is worth more. But we don't need deeds. Alright. Uh, let's... This is... Just this backpack is a mess. Well, like this then. Um, actually, if you really want to sort it a little bit more logical, let's do it like this. All right. Could have dropped these though. They're not that. Ooh. We don't have shovels. But it might have been nice to stop around there for the, the next team to know, like, immediately, Oh yeah, we, you, you can get a camp over there. But we'll probably need to go towards green in the room again. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to remember this, though. Ah, there's our food activation. Um, that we go down this side. Like, here is camp material. Because the secret room is on the other side, and there's a good chance I might go like, Oh, there's a secret room, we'll go that way. Well, here's there's actually a camp, which might be nice for a new team. And I'm not gonna play enough to die to 
today to end. Will you not hit your teammates? It's, it's really not nice. Luckily, Froy can heal herself by doing that, and we immediately take out one of them. I'm surprised, by the way, how much damage Careless Whispers does. Because if you look at a, a comparable skill, Howl, of the Ghoul, it does no damage at all and, and gives horror. And possible disease, I have to admit, but still. If that attack lands, if Froy hits, the stun is near guaranteed thanks to the mirror, but it does have to hit. Ooh. You're just above your percentage, but this is nice. Goodbye. That allows us to heal. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Hmm. That comes at a fortuitous Compassion time. I'm not sure if I should have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, they still allow me to get uh, below 50. Actually, I'm not exactly at 50, which probably isn't good enough, right? It was below 50. There you go. I think this is about as healthy as we've been in a while, and that is also just plain old good. You are so dead. Uh, five stress. I'm just gonna prepare you, so to speak. That's not pretty good because pre pre digestion is more annoying now than get it a blood. A decisive pummeling. Well, as soon as he is, he's dead. Oh my dear lord! I can't believe it. Can be full health, but never hidden. Okay, near full health. I know that was pointless in a sense, but still, I f it I felt like doing it. Brought low and driven into the mud. Just a little further. There's a camp in this way. I think it will end here because we don't have food. This is 150 gold away from the maximum amount of gold that we can get. We have been going on for a little less than a half an hour. Um, so that's good. We have... This team is ready to go out again. Not that they will, because we don't have an invitation. So I doubt it will go back in. Uh, this was annoying. The dungeon uh, required me probably to go somewhere here or here. In order to get a key to go all the way back there. We do know of the secret rooms. I hope they do not go away, this map. And, uh, well. I have to see for the next time. We're gonna go. Great adversity has a beauty. It is the fire that tempers. And that is a pretty good amount of gold. And don't forget, we got two additional trinkets. Of which one is a healing plus 25% without plus 20% stress. And if I combo that, I may want to do that. But I know that the other trinkets for... And I was talking about the trinkets for the vessel. And I show, will show them. Uh, I mean, we have a little bit extra time in this episode. Oh, they're, oh, they're natural eye. Range skills, that's really good. Fear of Eldritch has been replaced. That's pretty good. Uh, curious, that's really bad. That's gotta be removed immediately. Off guard. Uh, resilient. Plus 10% stress yield. Fragile, that's gotta be removed as well. 
That's annoying. Some uh, annoying All traits. All decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. Shall I look an Eldritch Hater? Oh, uh, he's more our 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 bloodsucker killer. Oh, he has a stress eater. I didn't even realize. You can't remove two of them, huh? No. Well, okay. Remove Fragile and Froy. You got also a nasty one, which is curious. Which means you will try and interact with every freaking thing. Which is just no bueno. Uh, we'll unequip all trinkets and do like this here. We have the vessel's atonement beats, which does plus 20% damage for melee skills and plus 3% crit melee skills. This is for a damage vessel in position 2. And it has a minus 15% virtue chance. But the other one that we just got... Um, it's a bit hard to... F this one? Yeah. Sal Salacious Diary? Plus 33% stress yield while camping? Meh. Plus 25% healing skills, which is pretty freaking good. And then for only minus 2 speed. And the vessel's slow already, so I don't mind the speed debuff so much. I also know that if a combo is, is a plus 35% st stun chance and a 35% debuff skill chance. Now, um, stun chance is this, of course, which is really good. But what it also, of course, targets is Hand of Light, which is the debuff, as well as this. But it feels to me like it's more a thing for damage Vestal in position 2, the combo of these two, than it is for like the Vestal the way we use it, because this does 30% healing. Oh well, anyways, we've done it. We have uh, made headway in the courtyard. Uh, apparently that it's towards the next goal, so yeah, so there's probably <clears throat> another boss coming after the Countess. We have no uh, invitations, so we can't go back in. Despite that the team is ready for it, they are our first four vampires. Infestation is still low, so we probably not get any invitation very soon. And yes, I said that correctly. The infestation is low, so an invitation chance is low as well. Um, but we'll see when we get that, and hopefully by that time, oh, our team. Well, I'm, I'm not sure they are ready, and uh, well, we'll see what we can do. Perhaps, perhaps we'll, oh, we'll get some action here we already have it but this one is pretty good 10 damage range skills plus three percent crit chance on range skills we'll see you in the next episode i say i thank you for watching and remember great peril yields great beauty